Okay. I'm going to try to the best of my ability to explain to people where we're headed and in a way where you can hear me. Okay. <clears throat> it's important that people that watch this channel hear me. And I can already tell from the comments that you're not getting this. A lot of you are not getting this. And a lot of you are not hearing the remote views. And a lot of you don't understand what I do. And I don't know how else I can convey to people who watch this channel the importance of what I'm saying, why I'm saying it, and where, where it's probably leading us in the future. There is a lot of money that's getting lost. Do you understand, people? Billions of dollars. There are people that are losing billions of dollars because of U.S. sanctions against the East. Do you understand? And they are getting angry and upset about it. And you need to hear that. If you want, if you are a Democrat and you want to win in November... You need to hear what I'm saying. And unfortunately, for whatever reason, Democrats are having a real hard time hearing what I'm saying. And I don't know what the issue is. Instead, you're saying things that have nothing to do with what I'm talking about. Oh, she became, she became, oh, she joined the dark side with uh, Elon Musk. You're not getting it. And so I don't know how to help you. Uh, maybe you need to get back on coffee. I don't know. I don't know how to help you. I don't know how to help you understand what the issue is and where we're headed. All I can do is try over and over and over again, as I have been for eight years. This is about trade. This is about a trade dispute between East and West. This is about the fact that Putin couldn't get his trade out and he felt boxed in and angry and resentful. And then he started something with, which was called Turkish Stream. He wanted to deal with Turkey and then he wanted that oil to go all the way into Eastern Europe, Germany, uh, other countries that were buying oil from Russia. And we were boxing his trade out. We were preventing him from getting his trade, which caused him to become angry, which caused him to declare a kind of cyber war on the United States. It also caused him to become angry at Israel and the United States because they were blocking trade in the Middle East. In the middle of all of that, you have business people, wealthy business people who are not evil, contrary to what you think. They're just business people that want to get their business up and running. And they have been tied in knots because of these sanctions. And also they're having moral and ethical problems with the sanctions. They see kids can't get bread in Cuba and they're having some real ethical problems with this. We need to work out these sanctions so that everybody can get back to work. This is the argument. Here's the problem. Number one, I personally think they're living in a dream world. This is my opinion as a remote viewer, as an Israeli, as an American who is looking objectively at the dispute of trade routes and the new trade routes that are being built out of China, going into China, or excuse me, going that are being built by China into Africa, Russia into Africa, uh, hired military to protect these trade routes, et cetera, et cetera. That's the real story. And if Americans don't get the real story, they're not going to understand what the election of 2024 is about. So my job is to help you understand why business people are pouring money into Trump. Do you understand? It's not because they like Trump. It's not because uh, they think he's a nice guy. You need to understand they are doing this because their companies cannot function under sanctions, okay? That is the thing you need to take away. Whether you like them or not, 
They are saying in clear terms, we can't go on under the Biden sanctions. And so we have no choice. We have to go with Trump because we can't continue our businesses under sanctions. We can't get our, our parts. And we're not talking about one businessman. We're talking about super PACs of businessmen that want the trade wars to end. They're tired of this, whether it's iPhones, not being able to get iPhones and computer parts to certain types of metals. If you don't understand what the conversation or the problem is, how are you going to find a solution? So we as Democrats have to be able to address the real issue of why business people are jumping the ship and running over to Trump. It's not because they like all of his ideologies. It's because of trade. Can people get that? And here was my argument to my mentor, who I strongly disagree with. If we do trade with Russia and Iran and we open up a trade deal with them, what I said was that I was concerned the money would be used to rearm their military and then they could turn around and attack Israel and the United States and it would be very, very bad. And that I do not think we are ready to open up trade with Russia and Iran because they hate us too much. And I think that the desperation I am seeing from people in the business world, they're so desperate to get trade up, they have chosen to put their heads in the sand about the extent to which Iran hates the West, Russia hates the West, and specifically how much they hate Israel. And if we make a deal with Iran and Russia, I fear that Israel could be taken out that Israel could wind up being taken off the map because you don't make deals with people that want to take you out. You don't make deals with people that try to destroy you. And while I sympathize and while I have empathy with business people that are trying to get their uh, parts, we use these products. We want these products. We understand the need for these products to be produced. But you cannot negotiate with terrorists. You cannot negotiate with a man that plans a, 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 a program on October 7th where Jewish women are raped and killed. And she, uh, the very uh, thing that horrifies uh, anybody who has a heart, uh, October 7th, uh, the people that did that, do you really want to give them more money? Because if we haven't removed the cause, if we haven't removed the mentality and the mindset, if we haven't changed the hearts and minds and we're just giving them money and making a deal because you want to go out and do trade, then you're basically kissing the state of Israel goodbye in a couple of years. That's what I said. They will come out back and they will mobilize because if... Trump's main motive is to create friendly trade with the East, then that means pulling troops out of Syria and making Israel a sitting duck. It means possibly cutting the cord and economic support of Israel by the United States if they challenge trade between East and West. So you make a deal with Iran that wants to destroy Israel, what's that going to look like in four years? You make a deal with Putin, who was one of the people that uh, engineered October 7th, and you give him more money and more weapons, what's that going to look like in four or five years? Now you've just made your enemies stronger. And this is why I don't support voting for Trump. And this is why I disagree with my mentor, strongly disagree with him. Because the emotionalism of wanting to get to ba back to work. See, this is emotionalism. And if you're asking to be logical and rational and put emotion aside, you're putting your head in the sand about just how much our enemies hate us. You are underestimating how much the East hates the West. 
and you think you can just pay people off, pay people to like us, you're sorely mistaken. And for that reason, I'm saying until we can really see a change in leadership in Russia and Iran, the sanctions have to hold. And if people didn't get anything about what I'm talking about here, then you're not going to be able to protect yourself from a, a, Trump potentially taking the White House in 2024. And so I really hope the people that watch this channel are finally hearing what I'm saying. All right. Thank you, everyone, for your love and support. Be sure and like, share, and subscribe. Think about memberships. They're great ways to support our uh, channel and uh, study the science of remote viewing. Peace out, everyone. We'll see you uh, next time, and God bless. Bye-bye.